I've actually had this sitting in my closet for a long time, and since it's I'm in lockdown and I really don't have anything else to do, and I really wanted to make a video today, and I don't, I'm still waiting for some booster boxes to come in for openings, I thought why not open this, and uh, let's just see if it's actually worth it to buy a deck builder's toolkit, specifically from Amonkhet. Now there is something about this specific deck builder's toolkit that separates from a lot of others, and it's because it actually has full art basic lands in here, something that a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, so I actually think it's a little more valuable because of that. Uh, sorry, this thing is really hard to open. Yeah, I think it's a little more valuable than your typical deck builder's toolkit because of that. Um, you're also getting some cards from Kaladesh, some cards from Aether Revolt, and Amonkhet, obviously. Uh, you get your little Mark Wall, <laughs> Mark Rosewater, Discover the World world discover the world look what awaits you check this guy out holding a trophy and there's some planeswalkers looking out from the distance looking real heroic there stories of magic planes planeswalker just get a little nice little read there as well and it lets you it says thank you and gives you its little social media uh, handles there 2016 can you believe this has already been four years since almond came out how old do you feel right now knowing that Makes me feel really old. So, you get more pamphlets there. And here is your packs that you get. Amonkhet, Oath of the Gatewatch, so Kaladesh and Aetherville. So this is what's really cool about this, is you have three shots at getting a map. Actually, no, four shots. I almost forgot Amonkhet, because no one really wants to go cards. But you get four shots at getting a masterpiece when you buy this deck builder's toolkit. So. Um, yeah, I, I picked this up for 20 bucks. I think these deck builders toolkits, in my opinion, not that I have a huge position on these, I'm trying to boost the price up of it, but I'm saying, in my opinion, these deck builders toolkits, the Amonkhet one should be at least $35, $40 minimum. Okay, so let's see. I believe one of these is just a stack of basic lands. So, I don't know if I should open that. I'm going to save this for last. Let's open this Evolving Wilds pack first. Let's see what we get in here. They have a little pull tab. Makes it easier, easy to open. Beautiful. 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 Okay, we got uh, eight Evolving Wilds cartouche. I, this is a great card, and foils is worth a lot of money. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. I know it's all fairly random, but I think there's a bit of repetition... I've opened a few of these already. Uh, it looks like you do get like a lot of the same cards. Like I'm assuming I'll get Aether... Uh, what is it called? Ugh, the Death Touch guy from Aether Revolt. Uh, Gifted Aetherborn, that's it. But you also... I don't think you can get a Fatal Push in there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll get one now. But I've opened about three, I believe. And I've never seen a single Aether... Uh, I mean, a Fatal Push in any of these Deck Builders Toolkits for Almoncat. So... We shall see. Maybe this will prove me wrong. Unlicensed. I see this every time as well with these deck builders toolkits for Amonkhet. So you do get a lot. So it's good for deck building, obviously, that's the point. Trophy Mage is a good card. It used to be worth something. Um, yeah. So nothing really of noting in there, that pack. Let's open these uh, lands. I think this is the one that comes with the full art lands. I believe it, it is. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think this is it. Yep, there you go. See, look at this. You get a, quite a lot of full art lands. Look at that. You get five each. So that's, uh, that's not bad. That is not bad. I know full art lands are kind of... Uh, they kind of jumped the sharp shark with that. Now that Theros has full art lands, it feels like almost every other set has full art lands now. Uh, let's see. So you get your your 17 stamped rares, intro deck rares. Sometimes You will get the stamp on some of these cards. I don't think they do it anymore with the newer deck builders toolkits. I think they got rid of these promo stamps. Uh, let's see. I think... An Anglidrick there, that's pretty cool. Um, Negate, Essence Scatter, 
There you go. I was going to say, every single one of these, I've gotten a uh, gifted Aether Born. Every single one. But no Fatal Push on any of them. Yeah, they definitely, 100%. Yeah, this looks very repetitive. Blossoming Defense. Um, yeah, these are all very, very similar. Um, so, yeah, you do get the same cards in every single one of these. And I believe this is just, uh, this is all just the basic lands, because I've opened a lot of these so far. So let's, why don't we start this off with, uh, the Amonkhet pack, since this is Amonkhet. Let's start with the regular theme. Okay. What we gonna get? What we gonna get? Okay, let's see. Nothing too crazy in the uncommon slot. Ruthless Sniper. It used to be a pretty good card. Not sure what it's doing now. Onward, Victory, Angla Drake again. And our rare, or mythic, it's a rare. Uh, Gain Sound Life. Oh, Approach of the Second Sun. Not bad. No foils there, though. Not too bad. There is a lot of uh, Approach of the Second Sun decks in Standard. This is uh, one of the powerhouses, believe it or not. I know it's shocking, right? Approach of the Second Sun, a good card. What? Okay. Good for Commander, I guess. It's just high casting cost. Okay. But then again, how much cards are good for Standard? So many. Okay. Okay, so we got the Embodiment of Insight. Spatial Contortion, that's a great card. Visions of Brutality also was a good card in Standard. And we have a rare, it's a 4-4, Deep Fathom Skulker. Man, I've gotten so many of these cards. Yeah. Flailing Tendrils Foil. That's not a bad foil, actually. That's actually a pretty decent foil to get. Wow. All right, and we got, and we got a full art as well in this. That's not a bad pack. I think Aether Revolt first or Kaladesh. Let's do Aether Revolt. Let's open Aether Revolt first. Ooh, that one was already suspiciously open. Hmm, that was packaged very poorly. Okay, let's see. Nothing too crazy in the common slot here. Uh, okay, I think we might have a foil in here. Salvage Scuttler, Dead Eye Harpooner. Come on, Fatal Push. No, we got Felidar Guardian though. He used to be a fantastic card. This was part of the broken combo with Sahili Ray. Okay, and we are getting doo -doo -doo, Green Pelt Rampager. Yeah, not too special there. And our foil is it's just a foil of planes, but it looks very nice. Great foiling on it. And we do have an emblem, a Tezzeret emblem. Nice. All right, well, nothing too crazy so far, but you know, it's just fun to open these anyways. We do have the potential best pack here, Kaladesh. Hopefully we, we actually get something good. And we get at least one very good packs because we haven't had a, a good pack yet. But let's get a good pack. Let's do a slow roll for this. Let's a little drum roll going here. Okay, let's get these through. Tezzer's Ambition, I like that card. All right, so first uncommon, almost skip right through it. Uh, Contraband Kingpin, then we have an Essence Extraction. And our next is a Morbid Curiosity. And our, please be something spicy. Joseph Meehan, I don't remember what he did. It's a rare though. Hmm. It's a rare and it's a red, but it's not a, it's not a land. No, oh, it's Madcap Experiment. My god, you know how many times I've pulled this card? Oh my goodness. It just follows me around everywhere I go. I swear to god. Do I have... What do I have here? I think I have a foil. Diabolic Tutor foil. Nice! That's another good foil. Uncommon. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. That fetches a premium, I believe. I don't know how much it is. I know it's more than a few dollars, though. Wow, really cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you think that it's worth it to buy an Almond Cat Deck Builders Toolkits. Remember, you do get a lot of the full art lands in there, and you do get chances to pull lottery cards. Obviously, not a high chance, but you get a Kaladesh pack, an Almond Cat pack, an Aether Revolt pack, and you also 
get an Oath of the Gatewatch pack. So anyways, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already been subscribed, and yeah, I'm repeating myself at this point. What am I doing?